Okay, hello everyone. Welcome to Wolf's Grove Workshop. This is a little video I've decided to make uh, as part of my Cloud Fusion Sword build. Look at all the pieces over there. Isn't that nice? So today I'm working on the uh, two larger pieces, the uh, saw blade swords that go on either side of the main piece that you can see right here. Now, as part of this, I have to uh, sand down the edges here, but it's a hard thing to do when you don't know exactly where the center line is. So today I've decided to make a little jig that will help me find it every time. So we got this piece, which will serve as the body. We got these two things here, which will be the pegs, and we've got a little... Uh, screw right here which will go in the middle and create a nice deep line for me to find where that center line is so let me just put this down here so you can see what I'm doing so first and foremost we go ahead and we measure out how big we want this to be I'm gonna go ahead and just make it a nice one and a half inches. Of course, I misplaced my pencil. Uh, yeah, there we go. All right, so we got that. Go ahead and mark off one and a half inches. And with this, we can go ahead and saw that down, making a nice even cut starting out this right here so oh, that was the swords falling down from the workshop here the workbench shaking this is not exactly a light process as you can see uh, not exactly a even cutting surface here but going up so this you can still get it to do what you want. Da, 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 da. Yeah, there we go. All right, break out the little extra piece there, and there we have it. All right, so this uneven edge, I never like these, so I'm just gonna grab some sandpaper real quick from my little area over here. There we go. 60 grit sandpaper to just even that section out. Many people consider this to be an extremely tedious part of the build process. I myself have never been all that opposed to it. It's necessary and everybody accepts that it's necessary. Not many people enjoy it the way I do. I just love getting these things nice and flat and even and smooth. Uh, I am a psychotic weirdo though. Let's see here. Oh. Continuing on there. This is gonna be need this is gonna need to be edited down a bit just to get us to the spot where we want to be. Do 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 yeah as you can see we're getting nice and level there. Okay, yeah, that'll do just fine, I think. So, with this next portion, we need to measure out where these are going to fit in here. So, first and foremost, we need to put exactly where they are going to be. They're going to be on the outside edges so that they can serve as the points of contact on the outer edges of the blade which will allow me to see exactly where they meet up and where the center line is. I'll be able to demonstrate this better later. I'm terrible at uh, actually explaining how these things work with words. Uh, putting that English major to good use. Alright, so we've got those set out. Now we move to the drilling portion 
of our process. Get my handy dandy drill here. Go ahead and find one that will fit here. We don't want it to be too large so that the pegs just slip right through. But we also don't want it to be so small that I have to beat them in. Uh, yeah, that should work just fine for now. Right. You can always go uh, larger. Very difficult to go smaller. So, I'm going to do, I don't know why I put that away. Go ahead, toss that in the drill. I'm going to slide this over here to where I've got my little area here where I like to drill things out. Always a process with this, especially when you've got these smaller pieces. Come on, you. Here we go. Whew. Yeah, we're getting there. A little further over than I initially planned, but. There we go. Woo! There we go. Alright. And now just to check our fit here. Hmm. Yeah, a little larger than I would have liked, but that'll work. Okay, so go ahead and do the other side now. thing about this is really doesn't need to be cleaned up all that much all you really got to do is make sure that the pegs can go through okay so there we have it ta-da look at how nice that is so now that we got that cut out or drilled out I should say go ahead and mark off exactly how deep you want these to be and then after picking up my scissors just cut those off Right about here. Mm -hmm. Oof. Come on, you. Yeah. Scissors aren't usually used to cut wood, uh, but they'll work just fine in a pinch. Oof. All right. So, we got here the other one now you may be wondering right now why did he have two dowels if he has one long enough to make both pegs out of the answer is I have no idea this is my first video perhaps I'm a little nervous no idea what I'm doing when it comes to making videos ah, there we go okay so now that we've got those cut out, cut off I should say, those can just sit right on either side of whatever you're making. I will demonstrate like so. Yep. So, when it comes to the center line, uh, come on, come on, sit straight, sit straight. Right, that'll work. Okay, so it comes to finding center line. You put this guy right here, and then you turn it, make it right along wherever you're going. The two pegs, two pegs, one of which is missing. Curl along there, and make the center line, which I'll demonstrate momentarily. As soon as I find the other one, this it? Does it look like it? Yeah, that's it. 
Yep, found it. All right, so what we're going to do now is just gonna go ahead and glue those in there using our handy dandy wood glue. I've really come to like this stuff. It's so much better than I thought it was going to be. Makes for a real snug fit for whatever you want to do and it just hardens like rock. I'd almost compare it to welding for wood. So flop a little bit on there. Run around with your finger just to give it a nice even coating. Splurp it in there. Okay. Do the other one. If you're finding it difficult to see everything that I'm doing, it's simply because as I said, I am new to this. I do not know how videos are made. I'm not doing this all on my phone, believe it or not. So, video quality will not be 1000% amazing. So, we got those pegs glued in there right now. Just gonna set that on its back so it can sit nice and even. Okay, well, we come to this guy. So, screw is gonna sit in the center of these two guys in order to make the center line. If you can see that, uh, yeah, there we go. So, curl these two guys and it makes the center line down the edge of the sword. And that is how you make a jig for finding the center line. I'm Aaron Lapaz. This is Wolf's Grove Workshop. Thank you.